Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and there is one more MacBook Air accessory I'd like to talk about, and that's the USB Ethernet adapter. As we all know, the MacBook Air does not have a built-in Ethernet connector. Instead, it relies entirely on wireless to connect to the internet. However, if you need to connect to a wired internet source, you certainly can do this with this product. It sells for $29, and it basically turns a USB 2.0 port into an RJ45 connector. Now the packaging does say that it's only compatible with the MacBook Air. However, in testing I was able to get all my Macs, including my iMac, my Mac Minis, and my MacBook to connect to the internet using this adapter. So I believe it's compatible with Leopard, Snow Leopard, and anything above. So if you want to connect using a USB port, you can do this with this adapter. Now if we take a look around the adapter, we can see it's a very small, lightweight adapter. It's entirely USB powered. Uh, it does come with this little uh, connector to basically bundle it together for transport. And of course we have some literature, but of course no Apple stickers this time. Now let's go ahead and connect it to the MacBook Air. Basically all you do is connect the USB port. And I'm going to go ahead and take this over to my time capsule and connect the Ethernet cable. Now for this test I'm going to turn off AirPort to disable my wireless. Go to System Preferences and select network. Under network you will see new interface detected. Select OK. And you can see USB Ethernet in the left column. Select use DHCP and click apply. This is the default setting. Now you can see it's obtaining an IP address from the time capsule and we can see it's connected. And of course the website loads right away. So now we're using the USB Ethernet adapter to connect to the internet. So let's go ahead and load the MacBook Air TV ad. Now here we have my aluminum MacBook, so let's go ahead and connect the adapter to see how this performs. Now you can see right away that a new network interface has been detected and it's prompting you to go to network preferences. So in this case, again, we're going to select USB Ethernet, select use DHCP and click apply. Now you can see it's attaining an IP address. And now we're connected. I'm going to go ahead and turn off airport again to disable the wireless and confirm we're using the USB Ethernet adapter for internet access. So once again, let's go to the MacBook Air TV ad. Everything we've learned has come down to this. of MacBooks. If you want to know more about the USB Ethernet adapter from Apple, just look at the description box in this video for all the links and information you'll need. Once again, this is Detroit Borg. Thanks for watching.